Library and Information Services welcomes you to the university. I'm Dina Mashiani, your librarian. As a registered student of the university, you, you automatically have access to all the electronic resources, be it ebooks, journal articles, and other types of electronic resources. In this video, we're going to show you how to access most of the electronic resources of the library, including the lab guide, which is customized to your needs. University of the Free State um, has various libraries. We have the Sasson Library situated at the Bloemfontein campus, followed by the TK Mopedi Library at Gokwa campus, the Neville Alexander Library at the South campus, the Medical Library, and also the Music Library, both situated at the Bloemfontein campus. You can also access the library uh, web page remotely. You can access it from your desktop device or laptop and also on your smartphone. Most of the electronic resources of the library are mobile friendly, meaning that you can even down access ebooks or read books online from your mobile device. There's also a lib guide that has been developed to meet your teaching and learning needs. As the South Campus or the Neville Alexandra Library, there is a dedicated lab guide for students that are situated on the South Campus, including those students that are studying from the regions as well. This particular guide provides access to links for your um, prescribed textbooks in, a, in an electronic format, meaning that you can access or read these books remotely. There's also information on referencing as well. And we have also embedded training guides or tutorials to make use of various electronic resources from the library. You can also engage with the library on various um, channels or options. You can call 051505138. We also have a Facebook page. This is where we um, share most of the announcements, the events, and also training sessions that we have. And we also have a Twitter handle. And you can also like the library um, YouTube channel. This is where we post or share um, training tutorials and videos as well. In an instance where we also have events in the library, we usually stream live on our YouTube channel. Now, I'm go we're going to show you how to access various types of, of resources from the library. We're going to make use of an EBSCO discovery service, which is a platform that allows you to search most of the resources of the library simultaneously. To access the library page, you need to log on to the university's website and click on the library tab. From here, you would find various options that are available to you to find more information related to the, U the, the UFS Library and Information Services. You would basically hover your mouse under department, then you would be able to get more information related to the library. Under the resources tab, there are various resources that are available that you can make use of to search for information. The first one being the, the catalog or the Cofticat. Basically, this platform allows you to search for books that are available either in print or electronic format. But since you'll be accessing the library remotely, you are more likely to use ebooks or electronic books. We also have the second option, the electronic resources, this is where you can find or you can access most of the databases of the library remotely. In addition to this, we also provide access to lab guides. And in this video, we're also going to show you how to access the Neville Alexandra lab guide, where we have embedded links to your um, prescribed textbooks that you can access remotely. We're going to start with 
the electronic resources option as we need to make use of the EBSCO discovery service. So basically this platform allows you to search for resources simultaneously. So if there is a platform for, if you want to search for, for, for journal articles or books or any other type of resource, this is a platform that you can use to search. Once you land on the on this um, page under electronic resources, you will then click on the discovery service. This is what the interface looks like once you click on the discovery service. From here, you have various options to, to choose from. As we need to make use of the EBSCO discovery service, we're going to select this option, the first option. From here, you will land on the default search page. On the default search page of the EBSCO discovery service, you have various options to search for, for resources. You can search for, for resources if, for instance, they have prescribed or recommended a particular um, item or resource that you need to use for your assignment. You can search using either the title or an author. In a case where they, you need to find as much information as possible based on an assignment topic, we mostly use a keyword search. So basically, from your given assignment topic, you're going to identify key ways that we can use to search. The library platforms or resources are designed in a way that they can only identify keywords, meaning that you cannot use a, 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 an assignment topic as it is to search. In that, if, if you do that, you won't be able to get any relevant results from the platform. Say, for instance, we need information on social media for, for teaching and learning. In this case, we can just um, type social media and education because we want information that is related to social media and the education landscape. From here, we click on search. As the EBSCO Discovery Services searches quite a lot of resources of the library simultaneously, you are going to get quite a lot of results. And most of the resources that are available on this platform, um, you can find journal articles, you can find books, you can find um, reports, and even videos as well. So it provides um, multimedia content. It doesn't only provide uh, books or journal articles. It provides a variety of resources. As you can see over here, we have quite a lot of results that we, we got from the, from the search using social media and education. You are able to refine or to limit these results accordingly. Say, for instance, you want um, sources not older than five years. Then from you can just um, indicate under the publication date. Say for instance, we want sources published between 2018 and 2022. As um, we had over 200,000 results previously, we now have just um, over 87,000 results based on the publication date limiting tool that we, we have used. You can also limit further according to the source types. Say, for instance, you only want academic journals from the platform. You don't want reports, you don't want magazines and other types of resources. You only want academic journals. You're going to select that op option over there and it will then update your results. So this is basically how you, you customize your results. You can also limit further. As you scroll down, there are other additional limiting options that you can use. You can limit according to the 
the publisher or the subject coverage. You can also limit according to the language because this is an international platform. Some of the resources are available in other languages as well. So you can limit according to the language that you are familiar with. So we can select English over there and it will refine or limit our results even further. Most of these resources that are available here, you will be able to, to download them or to access them. In an instance where there is an article, as you can see there, for instance, number one on our search results, it has a PDF full text option. This basically means that you are able to download this article in a PDF format. Some of the articles would either have an Ask a Librarian option, so if it doesn't have a full PDF option or a full text finder option like this number 10 on our results, if it doesn't have this option or the PDF option, but it only has an Ask a Librarian option, this basically means that you do not have access to this particular article. But what you can do in an instance that you are interested in this particular article, you can just send your librarian an email with the detail of the article that you are unable to, to access and you are able to filter it out from other university libraries. For articles that have a PDF full text option, you can just click on that option and you'll be able to download that article instantly. For those that have a full text Finder option. This basically means that this article is not available on this particular platform. But once I click here, I will get a link to navigate to another platform where I'll be able to download a full text of this particular article. Another option that is available to you from this platform is the citing or referencing option. For academic writing purposes, we always need to acknowledge or to give credit for the sources that we might have used. Otherwise, we might be we, we, we might be committing plagiarism. So each and every time you reference or you quote or cite from a source, you need to give credit, you need to cite, you need to acknowledge the contributors of those particular sources. we are able to access the built-in citation or referencing tool directly on the EBSCO discovery service. Say for instance, we might have used the first article from our search result, and we need to, re to reference this particular article. You would then basically click on the, on the title of the article, and it will then take you to a page where you'll get more information related to this particular article. So you can basically see all the authors. In some instances, you are also able to get the abstract of, of the article as well. In terms of referencing or citing purposes, on your right hand side are the tools that are available to you. You can basically save this article onto your Google Drive folder. You can add it onto your um, EBSCO Discovery Services folder, but to use this option, you need to sign in on this platform to create an account. By signing in, this will also allow you to save your searches for later as well. You can um, email this in a case where you're working on group assignments and you each had to look for, for information sources collaboratively. You can email directly from this particular platform. And for referencing and citing purposes, you just click on the cite option and it'll give you various citation or referencing features. Most of the departments and faculties of the university are using the Harvard referencing method. If you are using that um, reference met referencing method, you will then scroll down to the Harvard method. Please note that there are different variations of the Harvard method. So you basically need to consult the, the format for your department or your faculty's Harvard method and align it properly. So this can be your starting point in terms of, of referencing. 
because for, for some of the referencing formats, we usually do not put the year in brackets. So you need to align it with the recommended or the prescribed Harvard um, format of your faculty or department. So basically in a nutshell, this is how to, to search for information sources from the EPSO host discovery service. As noted earlier on, this platform allows you to search most of the resources of the library simultaneously. You can search for ebooks, you can search for journal articles, reports, various types of information sources. You can access them from this platform. Next, we would like to show you how to access the lab guide where you'll be able to find information that has been um, customized for your, um, for your needs as a student um, registered on the South Campus and also studying at, at the regions as well. So we basically make use of the Neville Alexandra lab guide or the South Campus lab guide. On the main web page of of the library, you hover your mouse under resources and click on lab guides. From here, once you are on the on the lab guides um, page, you will then have to look for the South Campus or the Neville Alexandra Library, where you will get the links to your prescribed textbook. We have um, a total of 34 guides serving various purposes. So we're going to click on the Neville Alexandra Lab Guide, and this is what the interface looks like. Under the home page, this is where we have information on the library operating hours. We also have details of your librarian who's there to serve you. You can also email her directly from this lab guide. We also we have also embedded a link to our library Facebook page where you can engage with the library. Under training and orientation, this is where you would find tutorials and resources that are available to you. Once I click on how do I, I'll be able to access the videos that have been created for accessing or searching for various types of, of um, resources. Say, for instance, you need to uh, make use of one of the databases that are providing access to ebooks. The platform is called ebook central. You can click on this a link, then it will show you how to download ebooks for um, your assignment purposes. As much as there are prescribed textbooks for your modules, you can also make use of additional resources as well. So basically from here, this is where you can get um, those, um, the, gui the guidelines and, 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 and tutorials as well. Under the prescribed and additional ebooks um, tab, this is where you would find links to your prescribed um, textbooks. Most of your prescribed textbooks are available in an electronic format and you can access them from this particular lab guide. Say for instance, um, one of your titles prescribed for, for your modules is um, psychology and introduction. You would then have to, to look for it and click on the image. Once you click on the on the image of that particular ebook, you will be able to, to get to a platform that is providing access to that particular ebook. So this ebook is available on the EBSCO Discovery Services. Earlier on, we mentioned that the EBSCO Discovery Services provide access to various types of information sources, including ebooks as well. So from here, this is where you would access this ebook. And we highly recommend for students to actually read the books online instead of downloading 
and that can help to ensure that most students have access to the book as opposed to when a student is actually downloading the book. So you are recommended and advised to read the book online rather than downloading the book to ensure that most of the students have access to the book. To read the book online, you just scroll down. You just scroll down and you will then have access to the table of contents. Then you can just click on various parts and chapters of that book and read the book online. You are allowed to copy and paste from the book. However, you cannot save or email or even print more than 100 pages from this particular book. These are just the publisher's permissions. So this basically depends on the licensing that the, the library has with the publishers. It has nothing to do with, um, it's not the, the library's um, restrictions, it's the publisher's um, restrictions and permissions for using these ebooks online. So basically, in a nutshell, that's how to make use of these um, um, or to access your prescribed textbook that have been embedded on the left guide. And the same principle applies in a case where you want to reference. Under tools, you will still have the citing option. And also remember that you need to align the Harvard format to the one that has been prescribed for your department and your faculty as well. Going back to the, to the left guide, we just want to show you where to access additional information for your studies as well. Because as previously indicated, on your left guide, this is where you can find most of the resources that have been customized to your needs as a student, as a South Campus student or a student um, studying through the regions as well. On the left guide, we also provide information on referencing as well. If you want to understand what referencing is in detail, you click on the referencing tab. This is where we have embedded information on referencing, the importance of referencing, the elements of, of um, a reference. If you are referencing a book, if you are referencing an article, these elements all apply. And there's also a short video there on um, that gives information on what referencing is or what referencing entails. And we've also embedded books that you can read online there on academic writing and also on referencing as well. If you need any questions or you're having challenges accessing the resources of the library, kindly um, contact your librarian for assistance. As um, Elia indicated, you can email her directly from the lab guide. So there's a, there's a link there to her email address. Thank you so much. We wish you well with your studies and good luck. Bye.